Hi Andrew, I'm including this bit of footage of Sid watching an old VHS tape from about 16 years ago just for a comparison with how virile he was at that time he used to do this on a daily basis, admire himself in the mirror and make cooing noises at himself he's, he's not done that for a little while to be honest OK, so next we're going to have a look at where Sid lives. He's got ropes to sit on, wooden perches to fly to. Tough he can't actually get to his bowls back there. So he's got quite a big expanse, which is his kind of area. He also uses the surface there to play with cardboard boxes and stuff. There's also a little wooden tree on a plate next to the window where he sits and suns himself. Obviously it's dark at the moment. Neither of the two birds are caged. They have free use of the kitchen and dining room throughout the day. There's a perch that's just about centre of the screen there. That's one that Sid uses. Taffy can't get there because she can't fly. Taffy, as you can see, tends to sit there and chew that wall. This is where they sleep at night. This is upstairs. Uh, we usually get them up at half past eight in the morning and we put them to bed about half past eight at night so they get a good 12 hours. So, we've actually got Sid out in his aviary by himself. In a little bit sort of cautious about it. Like I said, we've got loads of stuff to finish off on it yet. We haven't populated it with any swings or perches, but we've got this makeshift stand. And there is Sid, out there, munching on an almond. Thinking it's reasonably okay. Hey, Sid. So that's the model of compressor that we use. Seems to work quite well. Doesn't actually cause droplets to form on the inside of the polythene, that sort of thing. It's not very quiet. That's the particular brand of F10 that we use. We follow the instructions on the back of it. And as you can see there, uh, it suggests a 1 to 250 ratio. So, Blue Peter fashion, here's some I made earlier. 25 ml of boiled water that was allowed to cool. And then we mixed it with 0.1 of a ml of the F10. Decanted into here, uh, where there's a spray nozzle in there, which causes the atomization, and that connects to the nebulizer. So it is now in his little travel cage, preparing to be gassed. Polythene over him. Uh, we're just about to start this super silent little um, compressor. So. The fine mist, you can't really see it on the camera, it is uh, coming out at the end of the nozzle there and will fill Sid's little tent. Um, just angle that so as it goes towards him. There you go. And that goes up and hopefully clears up his breathing. So we're going to leave him in there for 10 minutes. That's Sid pretty much all misted up now. So just stop that for a sec. There we go. I'll just let some of the mist dissipate and then release the parrot. I'm surprised he's not making victory noises. He usually often does. Actually, he's just camera shy. Dragon Sid. Go on, mate. Go on. Good boy. Three forty seven. Good boy.